Hey guys, this is Warren with KL Gadget TV and I am appearing in a holographic forum and I'm actually doing this live from my phone. So what you're seeing right here is a 3D hologram fan with an HDMI input. So conventionally, all the 3D hologram fans that we checked out earlier in the channel, they all play media directly from its SD card. But this one right here, it does not have any built-in memory. It is essentially a display itself and it takes signal from any HDMI devices, such as my smartphone right now. I'm actually connected to my S23 Ultra and I've connected a USB-C dongle that has an HDMI output over directly to this hologram fan. So there's a lot of possibilities that you can do with this device here since it supports HDMI, you can do interactive displays, interactive conferences, and I'm gonna tell you all about that into this video. And let me show you guys the hardware before we go through all the details on how to set it all up. As you can see right here, the HDMI model of this 3D hologram fan looks just like any regular 3D hologram fans that you will find in the market. There's a total of 960 pieces of LED running across four blades here. And this thing is available in sizes of 65 centimeters, which is what you're seeing right here. And also 100 centimeters, 150 centimeters, and 180 centimeters. On the back, it is pretty simple. It's just a simple mount for you to mount it onto this bracket right here. And there's two things right here, which is the power cable as well as an optical port. Now, when I say this is an HDMI model, where's the HDMI port? Well, this is the key. Well, it is actually connected over an optical cable through this box here. So this box is included inside the flight case that's provided with this hologram fan. This is essentially a HDMI to fiber optic converter box, which you do not need to purchase separately when you purchase this HDMI version of the hologram fan. It is included inside the box. And what it does is to take in HDMI signals and convert it into fiber optic signals to the hologram fan, which is why you can see that there's no delays at all. It produces a smooth 60 FPS right here, and it looks absolutely amazing. So now I'm going to show you guys on how you can show a holographic image of yourself through your computer and your smartphone. So I've got my setup ready right here. So I've got my laptop, my external webcam, as well as a green screen on the back. So what you're seeing on the 3D hologram fan right now is essentially a mirror of my computer's display, particularly on the center part of the display. So whatever content that you want to play on this HDMI version of the hologram fan, you have to place it on the center part of your laptop's display. It doesn't matter whether you're on a full HD or 4K resolution, it just mirrors the center part of your screen. All right, so what I have fired up right here is OBS Studio, which is a popular streaming app that you can download for free from the web. So we are gonna use this app to do the cropping, all right? So as you can see, I've already added my webcam sources right here, which is centered on the screen. And how I do so is by just clicking the plus and a video capture device, and I just name it as webcam, and it just appears right here. So notice that the green screen on my back has also turned into black color because I've basically applied a filter on my webcam with a chroma key effect. So when I set my key color type to green, and it essentially turns it into a black color background. So the reason why we need a black color background is because 3D hologram fans, they are not able to show black colors because LED simply just doesn't show black. It just turns off the bulb and it becomes black, all right? So next we'll have to use this mask feature to guide us that so that we are in the middle of the frame, as you can see, I basically use this mask uh, to give me a guideline on whether I'm in frame or not. And when I'm done, all I need to do is to just hide away the mask and I'm gonna right click, click on this full screen projector preview, go to full screen and I stand to the back of my camera here. So it's just gonna focus a bit. This is a 4K webcam. So yeah, there you go. I am in a holographic form appearing on this 3D hologram fan. So yeah, this is extremely useful for hosting virtual conferences. Imagine if you are a speaker and you want to be present at every single conference out there, you can actually have all these hologram devices deployed to those places that you want to be live streamed on. And all you need to do at your site is to live stream yourself, let's say from your office or on your home. And at those event places, you basically have all these 3D hologram fans with HDMI input deployed and have a laptop connected to them while setting it up with OBS and create the masking to mask that particular area in the app, such as Zoom or Microsoft Teams. You can simply do that by just doing a window capture and you have the mask applied on that particular area of the app. Now you might be wondering, how do you output audio source from the HDMI 3D hologram fan? 
Well, the answer is there is no way to do so because there's no audio port from this. So it totally depends on the HDMI device that you have input to the hologram device. So let's say if I was using my laptop to output a hologram image onto this device here, I'll need to use my laptop's 3.5 mm headphone jack to output audio into my audio console or to a portable speaker. Now, I'm just gonna show you guys next on how to do it on your smartphone. Now, not all smartphones supports display output over their USB-C ports. You will need to find a smartphone with a USB-C port that supports USB 3.1 as well as it supports display port output, which is why I have my USB-C dongle right here connected to the HDMI cable. They are just connected to the fiber optic box and which is why you can see that it is mirroring my phone's display right now. And as you can see, the Instagram, Binance, WeChat icon there, it is uh, mirroring the center part of my phone's display. So what I, I'm going to show you guys here is how to take advantage of this 3D hologram device by using your phone, just by using your camera. There's no need to do any configuration at all. So I've basically downloaded this free app called Green Screen. So it's kind of like a, uh, it's, it's kind of like a freemium app. You got to do some in-app purchases to not have any ads. So yeah, this is the, the app right here. So as you can see, it turns my green screen into a black color background already. So all I need to do is to just align properly, pull it onto a tripod and anyone just walk past by, they'll just show up beautifully on this HDMI version of the 3D hologram fan. It's just that simple. So yeah, that's a really quick walkthrough of how the HDMI 3D hologram fan works. It is a really straightforward device. It does require a little bit of learning curve, but I have to say that it's really easy to use once you get the hang of it. Imagine the possibilities that this can do for events and retail. Imagine people just walking by and you have a computer with a webcam and a green screen behind. And then when, when they walk past it, they become a holographic version of themselves on this display here. It's just so cool. So yeah. The HDMI 3D hologram fan is available in sizes of 65 centimeters, 100 centimeters, 150 and 180 centimeters. Uh, they can be purchased directly from us. I'll leave a link below uh, for you to contact us via WhatsApp if you're interested. And by the way, the HDMI 3D hologram fan also comes in this really nice flight case here where you can pack everything inside, including this entire motor, this power cable and the HDMI to optical box into this one case here, which is really easy to transport around if you do a lot of events out there. All right, so that's all for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up and we'll see you guys in the next one.